Merry me everybody, Rowan here. I just wanted to do a quick little tour, for want of a better word, over my current working altar. Um, I'm going to set up a separate altar for Imolk, which is just around the corner. It's the 23rd of January today, so not too long to go. Very excited, very excited indeed. Um, so, okay, I apologise if this is a bit jumpy and a bit rushed. I'm actually um, just about to go out to travel to my partner's house. Um, I live on my own in my gorgeous little flat, actually. I'm going to be brave. Okay, I'm going to give you a little tour of my lounge slash dining room where my altar is, etc. So, here we go. Here is my room. That's my, whoops, very bright telly. My bookcase over there with my fairy lights, my artwork up on the wall. My kitchen just tucked back in there. And there's my table with lots of goodies behind me. Oh, mayonnaise, lovely. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop spinning you around now or so you're gonna throw up. So here is my altar. Let's see if I can just come back and give you a kind of, well, that's from left. That's my dreadlocks hanging up there. That's from left to right. So here we go. On the left over here, I have my, my goddess. She's a beautiful angel that my mother gifted to me um, several years ago. My mum's not with me anymore, so it's also a way of having her here. And I have my sacred, blessed moon water there. I actually watched a Lady Grave Dancer, a bit of a heads up to you there, Lassie. Um, her tutorial. And it was weird, because I did it actually accidentally in almost exactly the same way as she did hers, but I did mine a while ago, I can't remember when. Anyway. And here is my actually soon to be dismantled and redone in a new format, my witch's jar. It was a jar of intent for the year and I did it at last in bulk. So I'm going to be doing another one of those soon. It's my sage, it's my angel, lovely piece of rose quartz there. Absolutely love that. So that's there and I have my wand which I made. Light's a bit dodgy to see that here. Oh, you get the idea. It's a hazel. No, nope. no it's not. It's a, a bay. That's it. Bay wand. My friend has a bay tree and uh, quite a few bits had fallen so we sanded down and shaped and I've wrapped it in some gorgeous pearl lemon ribbon. I have my water and my chalice, which my partner, because he is amazing, engraved for me with moiré and the pentacle on the back. It's pewter, and he made it himself for me. He also, oops, having focus issues, there we go, um, at Lammas Festival this year, um, because I was very unwell actually, I was waiting to have my gallbladder removed. Uh, it bought me a health spell and it's got a little spell tucked away in there and I've kept it ever since. If ever I'm feeling slightly poorly, I'll incorporate that into some healing work. There's another representation of the goddess. I painted that. I haven't mentioned it before, obviously, because I've only done one video, but I'm also a painter. Um, actually, hanging up on the wall over there, right there, that lassie with the pink hair, that's mine, I did her. Um, and I have my my stone carved engraved pentacle here with my Hunter's Moon water on it. I'm going to do another video on this at some point, but I dance with a Morris dancing group called the Hunter's Moon. Uh, we're a border Morris style. If you've ever been to any event and you've seen Morris dancing, we're the guys with the black faces. That's us. And uh, we did our Hunter's Moon ritual on the Hunter's Moon, which is where Hunter's Moon got their name from. And this is a gorgeous little vial of blessed Hunter's Moon water. The water was taken from the Holy Well in Eastbourne, blessed, sanctified, charged, and we all took a vial of the water from the Hunter's Moon ritual. So that's it's so precious to me. And we have my, my Athame. I love this athame, it's absolutely beautiful. It's got a leather bound handle. I love it very much. And my pendulum, which I made, this is a nectarine. Let me just 
put it where you guys can see it. It's a nectarine, pitted nectarine, and I already had the mounting. So I put that on there. That's my lovely amethyst. My love spell deck in here, in there, is my tarot. It's a gorgeous box. I keep my tarot on there because I use them daily and I like to keep them on my altar. And a little offering bowl for the god here. This is a piece of wheat that I gathered at the Lammas Festival. Uh, the same Lammas Festival as my partner got my health spell from. Um, Hunter's Moon, who I dance with, we performed the public Lammas ritual. I was lucky enough to actually be a part of the ritual. So, that was gorgeous. And I have my green man down here with my god. I absolutely love him. I have two more of these slightly different faces. They're a set. And they're gorgeous. And um, there behind the god, I have stream water, which was collected from a stream in Hamden Park, which is near me, um, which has been blessed. And I use that for any uh, divination works for the flowing waters. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it, really. It's quite, oh, it's quite a good video, <laughs> if I don't say so myself. So that's my altar. Just thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, I will post one from when I've done my Imolk altar, which will be soon. I'm going to be putting that up very soon. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions, post comments, like, please subscribe. I'm a baby channel. So, um, I will speak to you soon. Blessed be, guys. <laughs>